Hi ho guys and gals, welcome back to the Den of Tools. Today I got the information on cat power tools that no one is talking about. And here's the deal. Now when cat first announced this, we're like, cat, this is the big guys with the big yellow trucks and stuff like that. This is going to be awesome, them throwing down in the power tool arena. And we saw the first pictures, it looked pretty amazing. On top of that, even better than all of that, they were promising a technology that nobody else was, and that is graphene batteries. They were going to take lithium ion to the next level before anybody else, and we were going to start seeing these batteries that could charge uh, in colder environments, that could charge twice as fast, that could take four times as life, all these claims. Now, there was an asterisk on it, though, and when I looked into it, there was a reason for that asterisk, and that's why I did this video two and a half years ago when we first heard about it. Say, is this epic or is it a hoax? And the TLDR on it is, it's kind of both. Basically, it's not a real graphene battery. They put graphene layers on the cathodes of the battery, which allegedly did improve performance, but it wasn't a true graphene battery. Well, fast forward to now, we're starting to see these roll out. So let's jump into it and see what's going on, what they're really offering. Here it is from their website talking about the graphene battery. And I'm sorry to say, they're not very open about the technology that's being used here. They're claiming that it's graphene. They've trademarked graphene battery. I don't know how they manage that. Uh, they're saying it's more efficient, four times longer life, three times quicker charging, two times more power, runs cooler for increased run, team, uh, run time, high heat conduct conductance. All right, a lot of great claims, but there, there's no longer this clarification about whether it's just on the cathode or whether it's a true uh, graphene battery. So let's take a look at what they're offering. Well, they've come up with an amazing line of tools for you know a new startup kind of thing. We, we're seeing the 18 volt brushless, we got an SDS, uh, we got the hammer drill. I like this, they're calling them the DX. If you guys don't know, um, uh, the, uh, the 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 nomenclature for for caterpillar heavy equipment it all starts with the D something or other so they're they're keeping that kind of name and I like to see the model of the tool just bold on the side of it so I know exactly which tool it is when I'm like going through the store and looking at this stuff I like that uh, so we got the DX13 here brushless hammer drill with the graphene battery now they're only offering one of of all the batteries they're offering there's only one that's actually listed as a graphene battery. And that's the five amp hour battery. Uh, we've got the cordless hammer drill with two batteries. We've got the drill driver with two batteries. We've got the impact driver here. Now it's saying, let's say 18 volt brushless, quarter inch impact delivers three speeds up to 1900 inch pounds of torque at a compact lightweight, weighing in at only 3.7 pounds. Got to get my paws on this before I can really say much more about it. But it looks like it's it looks decent. I like the build, the the layout and everything. It looks like a good driver. But the question is, is it really going to bring that caterpillar like performance, especially if you pair it with that graphene battery? Uh, let's keep going with what else they have. The multi tool. If some of you are have a keen eye, that's going to look really familiar to you. Uh, we've got the recip saw. What else here? We've got uh, the the jigsaw, the circ saw. Uh, and now battery wise, now that's that's all their cordless tools, power tools. They also have outdoor power equipment. So all the power tools are in the 18 volt line and all the uh, outdoor power equipment is in the 60 volt line, which does not offer a graphene battery, oddly enough. But we see blowers, chainsaws, trimmers, mowers, and string trimmers. Again, if you got a keen eye here, you're gonna know where this is all going. So uh, they also have a corded tool. As you know, I'm a big fan of corded tools, and I think a lot of people need to pay attention to corded tools more often for stuff like this. Grinding, oscillating, sanding, saws. Uh, other than drilling, the, the corded tools, they really come into their own when it comes to like sanding and grinding. Those things, they're just long runtime kind of stuff. Also, they're offering their this new slide lock tech storage system. This isn't just cases that they go in, and the layout on the cases, honestly, is not bad. But if you look, that's a case inside a mounting thing. So they're clearly looking at the professional market here for storage. I'm guessing for like in a van, in a truck, in a garage, in a shop, uh, grab and go kind of storage. And that's definitely with an eye towards the professional market. So the question comes up, where can you buy it? Well, we go up here, find a retailer and we go to find a retailer. If you notice, uh, we got Quebec, Quebec and Quebec. Uh, let me enter a zip code here. So when I put in my zip code, it shows Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply is where this is at. But is it though? So we go to Tractor Supply. 
And we can see they've got cat stuff. We've talked about stuff from them. It's all branded kind of stuff. We come through here, and sure enough, look, they've got power tools. They've got actually a good selection of them. So uh, let's click on one of them, and let's look at the combo kit here. $290. That is pricey. That's putting it up in the level of a DeWalt XR, a uh, Milwaukee Fuel. This is top-grade professional-level pricing. Performance, we're going to have to wait and see online only so it's not actually in store ship to store standard notice delivery you can do all that but you're not going to be able to go in store and just get your hands on it. now they have uh let's see here they've got outdoor power equipment there also let's see if we can get that stuff in store we we'll click on that and ship to store to online only as well what about now there's another one they didn't talk about on the map there which is lowe's but lowe's once again is no pick no free store pickup no free delivery you got to order it and have it shipped now they do have a good selection of the tools again look 264 better pricing than tractor supply but you know what it's a new line of tools i'd really like to go in and buy it even if i am getting a pretty good deal speaking of deals have you checked out our new uh, our new channel this is five minute deals you know when when doing a lot of research for the tool deals and stuff we find on this channel I stumbled across a lot of other great deals that just aren't appropriate for the den of tools. So we've created another channel where we're going to throw up hot, quick, fresh, five minutes or less, or it's free. I uh, see we got kitchen deals, uh, how to save on Amazon, Walmart, uh, hot Amazon deals. So we're going to have all sorts of stuff. There'll be electronics, home goods, basically non-tool deals are going to show up over there. So go over there, check it out, subscribe, and uh, that way you won't miss out on any of the deals. All right, but back to this. So one of the things I noticed when doing this research is on the website there for the power tools, it says this. That is, this is licensed material. And I don't think any of you are really truly surprised. Cat has been licensing out their brand for all sorts of stuff for a while now. And this these tools are not made by Cat. In fact, well, who makes them? Well, when you go to the website, uh, it down there in the corner, you see that pop-up says works.com. And if you saw the power tools and you kind of, there's, there's definitely some DNA sharing but I looked closely. They're not identical. They're not just clones rebranded as cat. Okay, that that we can be sure of. And Works is an interesting uh, company. They've been around for a while, uh, and but they're kind of known as kind of uh, kind of out there. They have a lot of weird kind of features and stuff. Some of which get picked up and become really popular and become you know uh, normal for the uh, the entire industry. That they're, they're definitely innovators out there, but they're also definitely a DIY level brand, uh, trying to work their way up to a prosumer brand lately. Uh, they introduced their Nitro level tools and I was duly impressed with the Nitro level tools. They sent me their, their drill driver and their impact. I thought they were fabulous. I wouldn't quite call them prosumer grade, but I would definitely say high tier DIY grade. I was I was impressed for what they are, $260, not impressive. Uh, hope, but they have, they're known for having just fabulous sales so hopefully that price will come down now that said now who owns works though that's positech now positech it's a portmanteau of uh i think i got the right word there of positive technology and they put it together positech they're a chinese company uh, u.s headquarters are in one of the carolinas i, I forget uh anyway the uh They've been around for a while. They've been around since, I think it was 1996 or 1994, 1994 that they've been around. They got founded and they were originally an OEM manufacturer making tools for other companies. Their biggest client was they were making grinders for Black & Decker back in the late 90s, early 2000s. Well, then Black & Decker, they had some issues. They wanted to focus on their own tools. Of course, then they get snapped up by Stanley and got merged and they're doing their own thing. So now... Positex got all this factory stuff. They're ready to make more tools and they don't have any clients. So they started making tools for themselves. They tried to get into Lowe's. Lowe's said no. We, but a lot of companies, a lot of retailers were like, we would love you to make tools for us, but we want to put our brands on your tools. And they, they were really of the opinion that they wanted to create and own their own brands, which is honestly a smart thing to do. So they went into uh, infomercials. They, okay, maybe better than the ShamWow guys. They were actually selling uh, these things right here. This is the the GT, let me see if I can get better on screen there. 
the the GT uh, Power Works works WRX <laughs> uh, trimmer. And one of the things I remember back in the day when these things started coming out, because uh, as far as I can remember, they were the first one to, to put the wheels on the side so you could tilt it. And the little pivot, pivot mechanism, you could tilt it and you could use it as a trimmer also. I remember them doing a lot of innovative stuff with trimmers and blowers and lawnmowers that nobody else was doing. And a lot of a lot of the company other companies looked at it like, well, that's just gimmicky kind of stuff. And a lot of homeowners were like, I like that. I, I in fact, I owned a, a, one of their newer versions of this trimmer. Ended up donating it to my local church, and they love it. It's a it's a great little gra uh, gas trimmer. So where does that leave us now? Well, Positech is now kind of positioning themselves. Uh, to do the good, better, best thing, kind of like Harbor Freight, TTI, Stanley Black & Decker. If you don't know, Stanley Black & Decker has got DeWalt, Craftsman, Black & Decker. TTI has got Milwaukee, Rigid, and then Ryobi slash Hart. Well, and Harbor Freight, of course, has got you know, Hercules, Bauer, and Warrior. Well, here's Positech doing the same thing. Cat on the professional side works in the middle as their Goldilocks zone. And Wesco, which I've talked about before, is a great entry-level Amazon-only brand. Uh, good level tools for the money there. So between those three, Positech is trying to set themselves up as a player. They're definitely not in the same category sales-wise as the other big boys on the block. But if Cat can really prove out and be what they say it's going to be, especially, oh my gosh, especially if they can bring the graphene technology to market. That's what we really want to see, but I don't want to see the asterisk on the end. I don't want to see like, oh, we just put a layer in there to help insulate a little better. I want to see true innovation in the lithium ion or in the future of portable battery tech. And I hope, you know, with their experience in the past, Works has definitely been cutting edge in trying new stuff and, be, and not being afraid to do it. If Cat can, can deliver, and I'm, I'm going to try and get my hands on some of the tools, and if they can compete with, uh, you know, Milwaukee and DeWalt and Makita and Bosch as those top-tier players, I will be as happy as anybody else to see it. I will say, though, I, I will, I hate to say it, but I, I'm going to have reservations because they're not a company that has shown that they can do it before. But I'm a believer that companies can change. Black & Decker changed. They turned around and, got, and and revitalized DeWalt, and they became the biggest player in the industry from somebody who couldn't sell professional-level power tools because Black & Decker had earned such a name uh, as being just a, a home gamer kind of system. So if Black & Decker can do it, anybody can do it. So let's wish them luck. But uh, I can't quite at this point give them a uh, a, a thumbs up and a, a, and a nod as like, yeah, you should go buy it. But if you do, let me know. I would love to hear about it. Anyway, that's all I got for you today. Don't forget to chomp the old like button, smash that subscribe, ring the bell. Also check us out on the other social media there, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram. We do a lot of the behind the scenes kind of stuff, family life and Western life kind of stuff over there. So be sure to check it out. Anyway, you all take care. God bless. And as always, shine on.